Hi, this is Jim Merritt with Quick Trainer Incorporated in beautiful Wilmington, North Carolina. We are your QuickBooks and Accounting experts. And today's short video is about when you set up a bank account in your business using QuickBooks Online. Um, and this same thing applies for the most part to QuickBooks Desktop as well or QuickBooks for Mac. But um, this message is for QuickBooks Online users. There is a right way and a wrong way to go about doing that. And um, I want to show you both ways so you can see the results of it. Now, I'm using a company called QTI, which stands for Quick Trainer Inc. QTI test company. And right now it has very little, in fact, it has no data transactions um, in it. So when I bring up a balance sheet, for instance, I don't see anything. Notice I'm looking at this year to date. I see nothing. Okay. And I'll keep that up there. And I wanted to show you if I go to the uh, chart of accounts, so click on the gear, go to the chart of accounts. We have a bank account right here. Okay. And this bank account, when I set it up, I did not put a balance here. And I don't want to put a balance there because I want to be able to define where the, the balance came from. Did it come from sales? Did it come from a loan from the owner or member or shareholders of the company? was an existing balance that, you know, was that a balance forward. So, and here's the reason I don't do that. In fact, let me cancel that and let me just click on new and click on bank and we'll click on um, money market. All right. And we'll call this, um, now obviously you would give it the bank name um, you know, maybe the bank names dash money market if this was a real account. Okay. And what's what happens if I enter a balance? Um, and we can say as of today. Okay. So notice the 10 grand here, but notice the other side is in an account called opening balance equity. Well, opening balance equity is simply a temporary placeholder. Whatever monies are found in opening balance equity need to be dealt with before a tax return can be done. Um, this is kind of the equivalent on the balance sheet as would be a miscellaneous account on your profit and loss statement. Um, Accountants and CPAs, we don't like the word miscellaneous because it becomes a bucket where everything just gets tossed into. And so for that reason, Intuit actually many years ago created an account called Ask My Accountant. And this is kind of, this is the miscellaneous account, if you will. And when you run across a transaction and you're not sure where to put it, I tell my clients, put it here. Because when I'm doing a review of your financials and I see something and ask my accountant, I'm going to take a look at it and we're going to discuss what it is. So put a good memo when you put it in there, put what it is in the memo and we'll move it to the right general ledger account or the right bucket, if you will. And again, if I go back to my balance sheet and I refresh the balance sheet, You'll notice now that there's this account called opening balance equity. Well, if, if I were seeing this, I would want to go right here and go to this deposit. And, and that's really all that happened when you entered that balance is it created a deposit. And we would be saying, well, where did this money come from? Okay. Was it from a loan um, from the shareholder? If so, it's likely a long-term liability called loan from shareholder. Now note, if you're 
an, if you're an S corporation, if you're a C corporation, we refer to loans from those individual shareholders as loan from shareholder. If you're an LLC, you're referred to as a member, so that would say loan from member. If you're a sole proprietor, it would be loan from owner. Okay, so I hope that helps. And I would simply put it right there. Okay, we won't get into the sub account right now. And I would say, okay, this was a, um, a loan from shareholder. A little redundant. I understand that because we said right here it's loan from a shareholder. But I want you to be conscious to always put descriptions and memos in your transactions. I don't care if they're redundant. It's a good accounting principle to be in. So this is going to get it out of the opening balance equity account and into the right account. So you say, well, Jim, why can't I just go ahead and put in the balance then? Um, you, you know, technically you can. You know, when you set up that, that new account, you can go ahead and put in a balance. What I like to do is just create this account with no balance, and then I'll go and make a deposit. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm just a little old school. So, and I would probably change this date to be the date whereby I made the deposit. Let's say it was made on 9 1. And I also like to say who was, who was it received from. So I'm going to put my name in there. And I'm going to set myself up not as a client, but as a vendor. Okay. And then I would post directly to that 2710 account startup loan something along those lines and um, here let's see we're putting all right so now the result is when I look at the balance sheet oops I posted it to the wrong account I meant to post it to the other account that's my bad easy to fix. I'm going to go back and change it to your bank name. Again, your bank name would be replaced with your bank and maybe the words operating account or payroll account or something along those lines. All right, so back to summary. So there's what we got now and we've got nothing in um, opening balance equity to deal with down there. So just a couple thoughts. All right, and if you have any questions uh, regarding this video, feel free to uh, leave us a comment. I do try to respond to those comments. Uh, you can always email us, info at quicktrainer, that's dot biz, dot B-I-Z, info at quicktrainer dot biz. You can visit our website, www.quicktrainer.biz. Make it a great day.